And uh, one outcome of that meeting was a little news and views piece um, by Robert May, Simon Levin, both former past chairs of our science board, um, and George Sugihara, former student of Robert May's, who's at Scripps now, called Ecology for Bankers, um, which says, there is common ground in analyzing financial systems and ecosystems, especially in the need to identify conditions that dispose a system to be knocked from seeming stability into another less happy state. I just realized I'm not actually in the slideshow, but <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and one of the things that they pointed out um, is that ecosystems, institutions, and markets are all paradigmatic examples of complex adaptive systems. So, for example, they include diverse, interacting, heterogeneous actors. Um, they integrate phenomena at multiple spatial and temporal scales. Um, they have non-random network topologies. Um, they have non-linear dynamics in multiple stable states. They're susceptible to systemic risk and catastrophic regime shifts and all those things I've talked about previously, like hysteresis. <coughs> um, on the positive side, <laughs> they also have the capacity to change, adapt, or evolve um, in response to um, perturbations or experience. And there's also opportunities for uh, small actions to have big stabilizing effects, as well as destabilizing effects. And I want to give three quick examples of how ecological research, and particularly food web research, is informing this kind of stuff directly. Um, this is a paper that was published last year in the Journal of Economic Dynamics and Control called um, Stability of the World Trade Web Over Time and Extinction Analysis. And uh, the senior author is Dana Rockmore, who um, has been affiliated with SFI for a very long time, and among other things, uh, used to run the summer school and based on him seeing talks that I gave at the summer school over a decade ago, this is actually work that uh, draws on explicitly some of my earlier work on robustness. Um, so in this paper, uh, they write, uh, we introduced this to this macroeconomic system, the notion of extinction analysis, a technique often used in the analysis of ecosystems for the purpose of investigating the robustness of this network. And in addition just to doing knockouts, um, they also explicitly looked at this relationship of stability and connectedness. Um, which I looked at in my early papers. So this is the World Trade Web, an image of it, um, basically imports and exports weighted um, among different countries. Um, and what they found very briefly is that like food webs and other networks, um, World Trade, the World Trade Web is robust yet fragile, so robust to errors, fragile to attacks of high degree nodes. And, and in terms of connectance, uh, their conclusion was that globalization, as witnessed by increasing connectance, increases the ability of a system to absorb shock up until a certain size, whereupon the shock overwhelms the system and sparks a broader, broader contagion. So they found this positive connectance relationship to a point, at which point uh, they actually found the other relationship, where you have